Hey guys, Dave Moore, iDaveMoore.com, doing a review today, a CCW Glock mod, if you will, on the Zevtech Fulcrum Trigger. A lot of you have heard about this, a lot of you might have this, but I know a lot of you are also wondering about this. Is it worth it? Is it worth the price tag that's on it? Well, I'm going to talk about it today. Quick rundown. This is the Zevtech drop-in trigger kit for the Gen 4. Uh, they also make a Zevtech Ultimate kit that has a striker. This is not that one. But a rundown of it comes with a two pound and a three pound striker spring. It comes with a polished striker safety plunger and a lighter striker safety plunger spring, as well as the trigger housing, the trigger bar, the adjustable trigger, face itself, the trigger spring, and the connector. So basically you pull out this one and you drop it in yours. And if you want to, you can change out your striker spring and the striker plunger. Uh, obviously in this kit right now is not the fulcrum trigger because it is installed in my Glock. This is just my old trigger, a little prop. So retail price on this is $175. And if you want the Zevtech Ultimate kit, the one with their stainless or titanium polished striker, that is $255. I don't like to change the striker or the springs, so I just went with a regular kit. Now, the reason I got this is we're starting to sell them in the shop I work at, Select Fire Training Center. And two of the guys in the shop have it already, and they love it. They went all out and they put the lighter striker springs in, and they're just... They're loving it. So I figured if we're having it in the shop, maybe I should get one. That way I can help to uh, sell it better or at least have some firsthand experience with it. Uh, needless to say, I'm a little skeptical of it because I've always been using the more affordable OC Customs triggers, which is basically a factory Glock trigger that is adjustable. It's treated me well in conjunction with my Ghost Ink connectors and I couldn't complain. But I have to say, this trigger in my Glock 19 is is quite awesome for a lack of a better uh, wordage. Uh, the trigger itself is made out of aluminum and mine has the red safety. It has a pre-travel adjustment and a over-travel adjustment as well as the width of it going uh, horizontally here. It's very wide and it's flat. The trigger bow itself isn't flat but it's just a wide flat trigger so when you get your your finger on there you have a nice flat surface and it gives you a nice smooth straight pullback on the trigger which obviously is going to lead to better accuracy now what did i do with this obviously i dropped in the whole trigger but i am not using the two and three pound striker springs i'm not a fan of light striker springs uh, i'm not competing so it's more for self-defense but what i did do is i dropped down from my six pound striker spring to the factory five pound so there's that. I got maybe an extra pound of lightness there, at least in the striker aspect. So how does it feel? With the pre-travel screw adjusted properly to where your safety is still engaging and is not too far back to where it's not resetting. You want to make sure that that trigger is resetting or you're going to lose your trigger safety. Basically, you pull back about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, and you hit the wall as easy as that. There's not a whole lot of pre-travel to it. And even in the factory configuration, there wasn't a whole lot of pre-travel. But I just felt like adjusting it a little bit. The brake. Brakes like glass, as a lot of you uh, say. It's a real nice, crisp brake. And the trigger poundage right now with my five pound striker spring is probably at about four pounds, if I were to guess. But who knows, really. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. That's all I can say, really. Once the trigger breaks, it doesn't go back very far thanks to that over-travel. The reset, very short and very forceful. You can feel it push your finger forward and you know exactly when it's reset. You can even hear it as you probably just heard. So, that's the basics of this trigger. And now mind you, if you put in the lighter striker springs, it's going to be a hell of a lot lighter for you. Uh, my opinions. I'm digging it. I like it. I'd say it is well worth the $175 retail price on it, uh, especially if you can find it cheaper. It's one of those things that you see the price and you're like, ah, I don't have, to have that much money or that much spare money. Do I really want this? But I'll tell you what, it's nice. <laughs> it really is. Whether you're a very advanced shooter or not, a good trigger is going to help you out. Um, at least some. So overall, I give this trigger a thumbs up. There's not 
much bad that I can say except for maybe the price. But you know, you kind of pay for what you get. As far as the ultimate kit, hey, if you want that striker, go ahead and get it. But for me, the fulcrum kit works just nice. So that is the Zevtech fulcrum trigger, adjustable pre-travel and adjustable over-travel kit. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Um, it gets my thumbs up, so it's well worth it. So keep shooting, guys.